one. Welcome back to St. Paul Harley Davidson. In today's demonstration, we're going to go over pin disarm. Harley introduced the security system in 2000. It's gone through several changes over the past two decades. Because of this, we're going to talk about the system functions and split out procedures based on the vintage of the motorcycle and the model you're dealing with. How to disarm your vehicle using a pin or a personal ID number comes into play if you don't have the fob, it's lost, becomes disabled, inoperative for some reason. The security system does not come with a pin installed from the factory. As the name implies, you want it to be something that is personal to you. However, when the bike was originally set up, your servicing dealer should have installed a pin number temporarily, just kind of a generic number to test all the system functions. If it's a used bike, the customer may have changed that pin to something else to make their bike more secure. So the first thing you have to know is what the pin number is of the motorcycle. If you don't know what that is on your bike, find out before you need it. There's also a handy wallet card in the back of your owner's manual. So if, you, if your owner's manual is still wrapped in cellophane, you're missing out on this little trick. But the wallet card will talk you through several of the procedures, transport mode, disarming with a pin, etc. Big thing to remember is it's going to be five digits, one through nine, no zeros, because as you'll see as we get into the demos, we need to input using turn signal switches in order to enter a number, and we can't push the button zero times. So let's go take a look at how to disarm your motorcycle. In 2007, Harley-Davidson Security Systems went hands-free. That means your security fob doesn't have a push button in the center of it anymore. The security system is going to auto-arm it key off, look for the fob at key on before it goes into a theft attempt and sets off the alarm. The pin number is going to be the only way to disarm the system in that case. So if your fob is out of range or lost and you've entered a pin, you can utilize the ignition switch and the turn signal switches to enter that pin number and disarm the system. Run switch starts in the off position. We go to ignition, push and hold both turn signals. We got a flash. We use the left turn signal to enter a one, the right to enter the number, left to enter the number, right to move to the next one, left again. Every time I push it, it will increment the number if you had something other than one. We want a one, so right, left, right, left, right, and now the system's disarmed. 